Aquarius, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for May 16th through the 22nd of 2016. I'm Athen, and this is for Sidereal. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link because the signs are different. So Aquarius, this week we have a full moon right on the cusp between Libra and Scorpio, which is involving your ninth and your 10th house. So a culmination of, I think, two areas. Uh, one is your future inspirations, your life path your future direction of that ninth house, maybe an illumination of your worldview, of what's possible in life. And for those of you who've been involved with things like travel or philosophy or university studies, for example, over the past six months, this can be a high point with those things. Now, the full moon is a status check time, so it's good to do that sort of reevaluation, see what's working in the area, see what's not, and then put energy into what's working or you know readjust what's not and continue to cultivate that uh, area for you. Now on the other side, it's your 10th house, and I think probably because your ruler's here, there's gonna be more of an emphasis on this one, and this is your 10th house of career. So you do have a culmination here in terms of your career, your productive life, your successes in life, or your achievements, and this has been a very you know serious area because you've had Saturn here, and there's this you know working hard with your future long-term goals or your career stuff. So it's good to have the full moon because you'll have some awareness, there's some insight, and I think a lot of it will be in terms of where you've been putting your energy with career and maybe what you might be readjusting or reestablishing with that because Mars retrograde is going to be conjoining up to this uh, full moon. All right, so there's a lot to be re-examined, there's a lot to be learned <clears throat> about this still, and it's good to be flexible with the career stuff, right? Be adaptive, try new things, have multiple plans and you know experiment. And in that way, that's more of that fuel which you can continue to implement. Because it is a active time, it's the full moon, but because it's involving retrogrades, we want to take action in a way that we're trying new things and being flexible in the process. Because usually new information will be coming to light and that sort of stuff, especially because Mars actually rules your 10th house. <clears throat> so that's going to be the uh, full moon on Saturday. And then as we approach that, we do have a very important aspect involving your ruler Saturn. Jupiter is going to be squaring Saturn for the last and final time. Uh, this has been going on since August of last year and then recently March. So it's the final aspect and this is all about the patient, steady growth to the career stuff. Seeing in the long term, in the big picture, right? But there's still opportunities there because Jupiter is, of course, about opportunities, right? So this is the classic expansion of Jupiter meeting with the limitations of Saturn to create something constructive and steady for the future. So that's the 10th house side of it. The other side is Jupiter in the seventh of relationships. So there's been a lot of, I think, opportunities to either connect, to form new relationships, maybe continue to form existing relationships, partnerships, things like that are really being highlighted for you. And a lot of that has began to move forward for you since last week, all right, because Jupiter went direct there. So it's great to cultivate these things, great to cultivate your relationships. You know, the North Node recently went in here this year, so for the next two years, it's fantastic. But here with the square, and this is going into next week, a bit of this patience about it, right? Remembering that there is a long-term approach to this, right? And having that steady growth involving your one-to-one -one connections, I think will be important. Not so much this week, mostly next week, but I feel like that'll certainly be a backdrop since they'll be within that one degree orb. Now, as we go into the rest of the week on Thursday, we do have Venus shifting into Taurus, which is significant because uh, you just had the sun shift into Taurus this previous weekend. So there's a lot of this uh, shifting and the shifting is I think going more towards your personal life, which is your fourth house. And this is where you're gonna have a new moon in fact in two weeks. So this is about home, it's about family, it's about your health. And I think anything involving your roots in life and your foundations, is a great place for you to be gaining that energy, gaining that prana, right? And with Venus from the second half onward this week, I think you can enjoy that. Maybe spending time at home, getting more of that relaxation or whatever it might be. So that's gonna be the shift and I think a great place for you to continue to gain energy. Your energy levels might be a bit low at the moment because the sun's here at the bottom of the chart, but it's a good time to kind of get in contact with your emotions, get in contact with your roots, and then in that way, that's what continues the solar energy. Now that uh, full moon, like I said, will be on Saturday. 
and that's the awareness of those two key areas, the future possibilities as well as the constructive career productive side of life, re-examining that. And this is really the balancing point is between the fourth house, which is where the sun is, and the tenth of home of work. And I think it's a really you know important thing over this you know weekend and going into next week to have this balance of the personal life and the work life and the career and the home life, right? And it's in that way that, of course, we understand that without real roots in life, we can't establish future productive things. And we can't uh, establish our roots in life if we don't have anything productive going on, right? We need both in life. But here it's suggesting a balance of, of both and really seeing them as one and the same. And I think the balance will be key specifically because Venus will be opposing up to that full moon as well. All right, so having moderation and balance too with what you could be or might be enjoying with the more personal side of things and still working and cultivating and relearning about the career stuff. So that's the full moon. Then on Sunday, we do have Mercury going station direct. So there is this shift in terms of, I think, what you've been learning about relating to communication or relating to how you think about things, you know, or just how your mind works. I think you've been learning a lot about your mind. I think you've been learning a lot about things like communication or reading or writing, whatever it's specifically for you. So that's the Mercury retrograde. And I think it's still an excellent week for uh, learning more about this more communicative and intellectual stuff, but it does start to shift on Sunday. So there could be some more insight, some more understanding about, again, communication, anything in your immediate environment, exchanging with others, that kind of thing. And then you'll notice going into next week, more of that forward moving energy to implement and continue to maybe do some of that reading, writing, or sharing with Mercury in the third. All right, so Aquarius, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.